Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded square fully inscribed uh, in a triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, of this triangle uh, is uh, 13 units. The horizontal uh, side length uh, is uh, 14 units. And finally, this uh, length uh, AC is uh, 15 units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the side lengths uh, of this uh, triangle are 13, 14 and 15 respectively. And here in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, AP on this side uh, BC. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, perpendicular length uh, AP before we could calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, square. And now we are going to consider uh, this triangle ABC without uh, the blue square. And here we can see AP is the perpendicular. And I'm going to label this perpendicular as our height uh, H. And now we are going to find the value of uh, height H. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, tiny side BP as uh, lowercase a. Then uh, this uh, segment uh, PC is going to be 14 minus uh, a. And bear in mind that this whole side length is 14 units. And now let's focus on this right triangle APB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 13, whereas our two other legs are lowercase a and lowercase h. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, h square is going to be equal to 13 square. And now I'm going to move this uh, a square on the other side. So therefore we can write uh, h square equals to 169 minus uh, a square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, APC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 15, whereas uh, our two other legs are 14 minus a and the lowercase h. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 14 minus a whole square plus uh, h square equals to 15 square. And now we are going to take care of uh, this uh, square of the binomial. And that's going to be 196 minus 28 times uh, a plus uh, a square plus uh, h square equals to 225 on the right hand side. And now I'm going to move uh, these uh, terms uh, to the right hand side. So therefore we are only left with the h square on the left hand side and we are going to have 225 minus 196 plus uh, 28 uh, times uh, a minus uh, a square. Let's simplify. So h square is going to be equal to 29 plus uh, 28 uh, times a minus uh, a square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. And now we are left with uh, these uh, two equations, equation one, uh, and equation 2 and we are going to compare these two equations. We can see our left hand sides uh, are identical so therefore we can equate uh, the right hand sides uh, as well. 
So therefore we can write uh, 29 plus uh, 28 times uh, a minus uh, a square equals to 169 minus uh, a square. And here we can see negative a square and negative a square they are gone. So therefore we are left with the 29 plus uh, 28 uh, times a equal to 169 and we are going to subtract 29 from both sides this is gone so 28 uh, times uh, a turns out to be 140 and now i'm going to divide both sides by 28 to isolate a this is gone so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be 5 units and since our lowercase a value turns out to be 5 units, we are going to substitute uh, this lowercase a value 5 over here. So therefore, in this equation 1, we are going to substitute uh, this uh, a value 5 over here. This is going to become 5 square. h square equals to 144. And I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore we can see that our height h turns out to be positive 12 units so therefore our this perpendicular ap this h value turns out to be 12 units so therefore in this triangle abc this perpendicular AP length turns out to be 12 units as well and since we already figure out uh, this uh, height uh, AP length uh, is uh, 12 units now let's focus on this uh, blue square I'm going to label uh, this uh, side length of the square as uh, X uh, units then all uh, these uh, sides uh, are going to be X uh, units uh, across the board and now let's make an observation we can see that this side length uh, is uh, x then this uh, tp length is going to be x uh, as well and we know that this whole perpendicular ap length uh, is uh, 12 so therefore uh, this uh, at segment length is going to be 12 minus uh, x and now let's make an observation we can see this angle and this angle uh, they are uh, congruent since they are our corresponding angles if i call this angle alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well and likewise uh, these uh, two angles are uh, congruent as well they are corresponding angles if i call this angle beta then this angle uh, has got to be beta as well so therefore we can see that these uh, two triangles the uh, triangle ade and the bigger triangle abc are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem this uh, triangle is our triangle uh, ade whereas uh, this whole big triangle uh, abc and since uh, these two triangles are our similar triangles so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of the sides uh, de and at is going to be equal to the ratio of bc and uh, ap and now we can see our de length uh, is uh, x so therefore i'm going to replace that one with uh, x and our uh, at this uh, segment length is 12 minus x so i'm going to replace that one with uh, 12 minus uh, x and our uh, side bc length uh, is 14 so i'm going to replace that one with 14 over here and finally this uh, ap is our perpendicular length which is uh, 12 so i'm going to replace that one with 12 over here as you can see in this uh, next step after substitution we got uh, this one and now let's focus on the right hand side this reduces to 7 divided by 6 so therefore we can write uh, x divided by 12 minus uh, x equal to 7 divided by 6 and now i'm going to cross multiply 
so therefore we are going to have uh, 6 uh, x equals to 84 minus uh, 7 x and now we are going to add uh, 7 x from both sides so this is gone so therefore our left hand side is 13 x equals to 84 and now we are going to divide both sides by 13 to isolate x this is gone so therefore our x side length of the square value turns out to be 84 divided by 13 units so thus the side length of this blue square turns out to be 84 divided by 13 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this blue shaded square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of this blue square is 84 divided by 13 so therefore uh, this uh, blue square area is going to be 84 divided by 13 whole square and that is going to give us uh, 7056 uh, divided by 169 square units uh, the area of this uh, blue square so thus the area of this blue square turns out to be 7056 divided by 169 uh, square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 41.75 square units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye